Hi, it's the 1st of January 2012, and I'm Bernie Goldbach on my kitchen table, an American in Ireland, asking the question on audioboo.fm, the stroke top gold, and on youtube.com, stroke top gold. Is this a happy new year for you? I've got some stuff I want to look through, starting with a million mini masterpieces. Face Britain wants every child in Britain to submit a self portrait. Each and every one of them will become part of a record breaking mosaic of the Queen beamed onto Buckingham Palace. Cool idea. I learned a lot from letting my four-year-old run around with a little camera, a camera phone, in fact, showing her perspective of the world. Self-portraits take it to another level. You can find information about this kind of stuff on uh, InstaView.ie. And normally I hashtag them with stuff like Flickr. So a whole set of stuff about photography. Flickr and the Twitter art project from last year. FT Weekend. Listen, if you're bored with my voice, I mean, after all, who wouldn't be on Audioboo or anywhere else, you might want to go right away to podcast.ft.com forward slash rss forward slash 47, and you'd pick up Amy Waldman reading from uh, an exclusive short story, or you can go over to Kindle and uh, or Amazon.com or .co.uk and read the submission, a really good piece of work. Um, Amy uh, dedicates the work called The Submission to Her Parents, Donna Marilyn Waldman, I can't say enough about the way she writes. I really like her style, and it's a really good short story that I won't even profile here, but it's in the FT Weekend. It is about Afghanistan. She shows an in, uh, inside information, inside perspective of, of Afghanis, Taliban, and Muslims. Okay, inside the FT, I'm only going to look at a couple of things. One's about innovation. That's Steve Jobs. He's still a guiding force for Apple, says the article in the uh, Financial Times written by Chris Nuttall. Point of view I'd point out, and what Adrian Wechter will point out later in the same little review of the papers, past 12 months have not been the most innovative of years for Apple. The company is literally whitewashing over its lack of fresh ideas, fresh designs, with white versions of the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. You know, I'm worried about that. Oh, Malik's telling me the iPod Touch might see the bin this year. I really like the iPod Touch. I think it's elegant and doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't give Apple the same margin as the iPhone does. So, innovation inside the Financial Times. There might be someone else in here. Oh, yeah, fly in. Regional airports are fighting for survival. Andrew Bounds, Chris Ty write the article. And what they do is they, um, they point out that it's like anywhere else. You have to, you have to fund infrastructure. And there's a direct link be between airports that are in a community and commerce that's coming into it. I mean, like, I really wish I could go to Plymouth. I'm planning on going to Plymouth for, for an e-learning conference, and uh, you know, getting there without the regional airport is going to be more difficult. I guess we could fly an extra drive across Plymouth. That's what we'll probably do. But like, more about this and my perspective as a, as a past uh, heavy aircraft pilot in the flying tag that you'd find at InsideView.ie, my, my main web blog, inside the Sunday Business Post. Hey, they haven't done a review of this phone yet. This is the Nokia Lumia. And it's some it's fun I really like. Um, I've done a lot of cool stuff with it, including make my making my Christmas turkey with it. And that'll be up on my blog later on this week. Inside this paper, some other stuff. Employee sick rope sick pay set to spark fresh cabinet row, says Pat Leahy. It's leaking all over the slow news cycles here. Basically, um, what's happening is the government has to cut back on stuff. And one of the things they're gonna probably gonna cut back on is just the amount of money sick pay is uh, funded with through the government's coffers. The document inside the cabinet argues that absenteeism is actually a public sector problem. That would be me. I work in the public sector. And, um, you know, there are pretty generous benefits. If you find a GP that's uh, on your side, you can get mental stress relief. You can get, you can get uh, permission to not show up and work and just call it that you're stressed. And you get paid for not coming to work. Um, the health tag that I'm showing here in the um, YouTube segment of my news release is important because health benefits are um, important to Irish life, but you know, it's hard to keep health costs down. And that's what I finger here, the Strife of Riley, following an article by Susan Mitchell, who's a health correspondent of the Sunday Business Post, points out that the HSC is planning to cut activity levels by about 5%. Now, here's the story. What this means is well, we have a, a young child who really needs some care before he's six months and uh, before he's six months old. And what's happening is that to go standard 
care cycles with the HSC. It's going to take long. So we're, we're stumping up 150 euro a pop to, to basically fill the queue, you occupy um, times that the consultants are available or, or um, hospital uh, hours that are, that are now available because the HSC itself is cutting back on activity levels. So it's the two, um, a double-edged sword there, um, we're actually benefiting by the cutback HSC is making in public health, but we're paying for it. By, by jumping around and filling, um, filling the time that's made available with a uh, private mechanism. Hey, look, Josian era, era is entering a new phase. The copyrights expired on James Joyce's stuff. Nadine O'Regan explains what that means in the paper. I, I think it's going to mean a really good Bloomsday next June. I'm hoping Foursquare makes a proper, proper tag for it. Tourism can play a vital role, Tim Finn says. Hey, if you're watching this, John, um, John Tierney, good specific pieces of information about tourism remaining Ireland's largest indigenous industry, critical component of the export economy. There's ways you can drive this kind of um, touristic benefit to the Irish economy with stuff related to technology. And I'm hoping that uh, I can play a part in that in the next few months as well. Tourism, bring more people to Cashel where we live. Inside the Sunday Business Post, okay, look, paper doesn't want to turn where I want to turn to you. Hey, hey. Adrian Wechter says there's trends to watch. Apple will rise no more. He, what he's saying there is pretty much the same kind of thing that is pointed out in the Financial Times. Ten startups to watch. Adrian and Dick O'Brien make some good um, fingering of uh, different startups, which I think bear interest. Hey, in Brave New Cars, the Ferdy O'Dowd's the motoring correspondent for the Sunday Business Post, he finds the BMW and you know, trying to figure out how far the Mini's going to go. But he doesn't mention the M1, which I think is one hell of a drive. I mean, if I was going to profile cars of 2012, I'd ride that thing. Good one. Oh, Angela Merkel may have opinions about how fast you can drive on Irish roads because she, uh, the austerity packages that uh, Europe's mandating for Ireland will make uh, regional and local roads difficult to repair. Tom McGurk says the people of Ireland really need to ask the question, are we, going to, are we actually going to kill this economy? And his point is, as 2011 turns into 2012, there's no sign, no sign at all, that three years of austerity that the Irish have endured have made any impact on our voyage out of the economic crisis. So will 2012 be a better year, a happier year than 2011? Eh, probably not if you're going to follow the McGurk or the McWilliams philosophy. The Sunday Times will end up my short news uh, bulletin this week with a look at the front, news, front page news item from Kate Manzi and Cal Flynn. They're saying how pirates are plundering e-books and they actually finger it. They actually finger the Kindle as well. If you go to my web blog and you look up what I've written about the Kindle, you'll see that that's, a, that's an idea that's been covered for a while. You can spot this stuff. You can spot Kindles uh, on torrents pretty easily. Um, you can spot the Irish economy and jobs uh, being, being affected. The economy is bouncing up and down. Very stagnant trends. The government's basically trying to uh, avoid making big reforms. Konstantin Gertrude says those things in the paper. Um, in terms of sharing money ideas, pretty interesting tips here from the uh, shares tips from the money section of the Sunday Times. Invest in, Invensys might be a place to put your money. Tesco might be a place to put your money. Both undervalued if you look at the price per earnings share and the current market position. Finally, Sandra O'Connell says, stay on top through the downturn. Good news here. Uh, she's profiling some work that's been done by Paula, Paula Fitzsimons, co-author of the GEM report. So Simon's saying there's a lot of um, active work being done, active market research being done by startups using pop-up facilities, short-term lettings for pop-up, pop peppercorn rents often, often in high street locations. Wouldn't have been possible before the boom. And now uh, the success stories behind that are often shared. Uh, for example, Limerick Open Coffee next Thursday and tagged on my stuff as Open Coffee. Uh, some good success stories there. So it will be a happy news year for me. Don't know. Um, I know this phone will be good news for me, this Lumia phone from Nokia. I really, really, really love it. You'll see more news about that. Uh, this little iPod Touch will be a good news item for me, playing a lot of good podcasts. For you, well, why don't you check back on my web blog, help my declining visitorship get back up into view, or watch me snuff it out. Actually, I won't. I'll stay with my blog. But I'll stop the reindeer. And I'm hoping that you have a great 2012 like I'm going to have. Bernie Goldbach, Castro County for Ireland, the American, reading the Irish papers, saying thanks for listening and bye for now. <laughs>